Okay, so I'm uh, making a little video here of uh, some little issue I ran into uh, on assembly of my AeroV engine. Uh, the instruction manual says to uh, temporarily assemble the crankcase halves and uh, check for uh, make, to make sure that there's not any uh, any other connecting rods are hitting the crankcase any, in any place. Well, lo and behold, I have one that was I had one that was hitting. It was a number one uh, connecting rod, and as you can see. Right here, I took a little Prussian blue and put on where I knew it was hitting, and I wanted I did that so I could uh, see inside the case where I needed to actually remove some material. So after I did that, uh, I took it apart and uh, have the other half over here on the bench. And again, the instructions talk about um, using a Dremel tool for. Uh, removing some of the material. I'll move the camera just a little bit so maybe you can see it a little bit better. Uh, anyway, in this uh, location uh, right here is where, where my bluing showed up uh, on the crankcase. And then the instructions in the AeroV manual further state to go ahead and use a Dremel tool to uh, remove any material and being careful not to get the dust around. Well, as much care as I took for you know, in cleaning my crankcase, I didn't want to take any chances at all um, of getting any material where I didn't want it to be, you know, by flinging it around with the grinder. So I got thinking about it and I got out uh, some of my old woodworking tools, which is a, a tool that I use on a wood lathe for, you know, turning material. Being that aluminum is fairly soft, I thought I could probably scrape what I needed to with that and uh, not be spreading stuff all over the crankcase. So that's what I did, and it actually worked quite well. You see, I, what I did is I just put it right here, and I could just drag it along, and I could scrape the material out where it was rubbing. So it's not flying everywhere around the crankcase. It's only going right here where I pull it off, and it'll be much easier to clean and keep control of. You can see how nicely that's coming off there. I hope you can. Let me see if I can. Yeah, you can see all the material that, that I'm removing there without blowing it all around the crankcase. So I think this might be just a little bit better method than using uh, a Dremel tool or any other kind of a die grind or anything for, for get, uh, increasing your clearance. If you don't have one of these, you can buy one at the, at the hardware store, or you could take an old file probably and grind it a little bit just to make kind of a cutting tool. Aluminum is pretty soft and I just think that's a little bit better way. Um, anyway, um, that's my tip for the day. I hope I get this engine running one of these days so I can get flying.